Welcome to Michelle's Opinions. Today we're going to talk about secret knowledge, hidden teachings, manifestation, consciousness, and oneness. Some of us may not be quite ready to hear this, but others are long past due for hearing this, as it ties a lot of the things together that we've all been going through. It's pretty interesting, as we all know that there has been scriptures removed from the Bible, and this is not a religious platform. This is an informative platform. So when I find something that looks like gold and I know that we will all benefit from it, I will share it with you. But with the Bible being divided and books being removed, it's almost like having the top layer of your teeth removed so you can't quite chew it up or digest it because it's not all there. It's been separated. So I'm going to present to you one of the books that has resurfaced and take religion out of it. It does speak of religion if you look in the brackets because I've left the wordings and everything um, in there so you can read along although it will be playing an audio reading. So if you cannot see, it will be read to you. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope it puts some pieces together. Take what resonates with you, use discernment and enjoy it. Gospel of Thomas. These are the mysterious sayings which Jesus, the Living One, spoke, and which Didymus Judas, who was called Thomas, wrote. And he said, Whoever hears these words and discovers their meaning will not ever taste of death. The one who seeks should not leave off, but keep on seeking until he finds. When he finds, he will be troubled and will marvel. When he is troubled and when he marvels, then he will be surprised, for he will reign and rule over the all. And when he rules, then he will rest. Should those who lure and lead you say, Behold, the kingdom is up in the sky, then the birds of the sky will beat you to it. If they should tell you it is under the earth or in the sea, then the fish of the sea will beat you to it. It is rather that the kingdom is both within you and without. Those of you who know yourselves will find out that this is true. When you find out who you are, you will then become known and will recognize that you are the sons of the living Father. But if you do not know yourselves, you dwell in poverty, and you are yourselves that poverty. Let the man who was old in days not hesitate to ask a small child of seven days about the place of life, and he will come alive. For many who are first will become last, and the last first they will indeed become one and the same. Know what is before your face, and what is concealed from you will be revealed to you. For nothing is hidden that will not be revealed, nor is anything buried that will not be raised. His disciples asked him and said to him, How do you want us to fast? How shall we pray? How shall we give alms? What diet shall we observe? Jesus said, Do not tell lies or do what you hate, 
For all things are plain in the sight of heaven, all things are disclosed before truth. For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, and nothing has been covered up that will not be uncovered. Blessed is the lion that becomes man when consumed by man, and cursed is the man whom the lion consumes, and the lion becomes man. And he said, The kingdom is like a wise fisherman who cast his net into the sea and drew it up from the sea full of small fish. Among them the wise fisherman found a fine, large fish. He threw all the small fish back into the sea and chose the large fish without difficulty. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. Now the sower went out, took a handful of seeds, and scattered them. Some fell on the road. The birds came and gathered them up. Others fell on the rock, and did not take root in the soil, and did not produce ears. And others fell on thorns. They choked the seeds, and worms ate them. And others fell on the good soil and produced good fruit. It bore sixty per measure and a hundred and twenty per measure. I have cast fire upon the world, and see, I am guarding it until it blazes. This heaven will pass away, and the one above it will pass away. The dead are not alive and the living will not die. In the days when you consumed what is dead, you made it what is alive. When you come to dwell in the light, what will you do? On the day when you were one, you became two. But when you become two, what will you do? The disciples said to Jesus, we know that you will depart from us. Who is to be our leader? Jesus said to them, Wherever you are, you are to go to James the righteous, for whose sake heaven and earth came into being. Jesus said to his disciples, Compare me to someone and tell me whom I am like. Simon Peter said to him, you are like a righteous angel. Matthew said to him, You are like a wise philosopher. Thomas said to him, Master, my mouth is holy and capable of saying whom you are like. Jesus said, I am not your master. Because you have drunk you have become intoxicated by the bubbling spring which I have measured out. And he took him and withdrew, and told him three things. When Thomas returned to his companions, they asked him, What did Jesus say to you? Thomas said to them, If I tell you one of the things which he told me, you will pick up stones and throw them at me. A fire will come out of the stones and burn you up. Jesus said to them, If you fast, you will give rise to sin for yourselves. And if you pray, you will be condemned. And if you give alms, you will do harm to your spirits. When you go into any land and walk about in the districts, if they receive you, eat what they will set before you, and heal the sick among them. For what goes into your mouth will not defile you, but that which issues from your mouth, it is that which will defile you. When you see one who was not born of woman, Prostrate yourselves on your faces and worship him. That one is your father.
Men think, perhaps, that it is peace which I have come to cast upon the world. They do not know that it is dissension which I have come to cast upon the earth, fire, sword, and war. For there will be five in a house, three will be against two, and two against three, the father against the son, and the son against the father, and they will stand solitary. I shall give you what no eye has seen, and what no ear has heard, and what no hand has touched, and what has never occurred to the human mind. The disciples said to Jesus, Tell us how our end will be. Jesus said, Have you discovered then the beginning that you look for the end? For where the beginning is, there will the end be. Blessed is he who will take his place in the beginning. He will know the end and will not experience death. Blessed is he who came into being before he came into being. If you become my disciples and listen to my words, these stones will minister to you, for there are five trees for you in paradise which remain undisturbed summer and winter, and whose leaves do not fall. Whoever becomes acquainted with them will not experience death. The disciples said to Jesus, Tell us what the kingdom of heaven is like. He said to them, It is like a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, but when it falls on tilled soil, it produces a great plant and becomes a shelter for birds of the sky. Mary said to Jesus, Whom are your disciples like? He said, they are like children who have settled in a field which is not theirs. When the owners of the field come, they will say, Let us have back our field. They will undress in their presence in order to let them have back their field and give it back to them. Therefore I say to you, if the owner of a house knows that a thief is coming, he will begin his vigil before he comes, and will not let him into his house of his domain to carry away his goods. You then, be on your guard against the world. Arm yourselves with great strength, lest the robbers find a way to come to you. For the difficulty which you expect will surely materialize. Let there be among you a man of understanding. When the grain ripened, he came quickly with his sickle in his hand and reaped it. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. Jesus saw infants being suckled. He said to his disciples, These infants being suckled are like those who enter the kingdom. They said to him, Shall we then, as children, enter the kingdom? Jesus said to them, When you make the two one, and when you make the inside like the outside, and the outside like the inside, and the above like the below, and when you make the male and the female one and the same, so that the male be not male, nor the female female, and when you fashion eyes in the place of an eye, and a hand in place of a hand, and a foot in the place of a foot, and a likeness in place of a likeness, then you will enter the kingdom. I shall choose you, one out of a thousand, and two out of ten thousand and they shall stand as a single one. His disciples said to him, 
Show us the place where you are, since it is necessary for us to seek it. He said to them, Whoever has ears, let him hear. There is light within a man of light, and it lights up the whole world. If it does not shine, it is darkness. Love your brother like your soul. Guard him like the pupil of your eye. You see the mote in your brother's eye, but you do not see the beam in your own eye. When you cast the beam out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to cast the moat from your brother's eye. Unless you fast unto the world, you will in no way find the kingdom of God. And unless you observe the Sabbath day as a Sabbath, you will not come to see the Father. I took my place in the midst of the world, and I appeared to them in the flesh. I found all of them intoxicated. I found none of them thirsty, and my soul became afflicted for the sons of men, because they are blind in their hearts and do not have sight. For empty they came into the world, and empty too they seek to leave the world but for the moment they are intoxicated. When they shake off their wine, then they will repent. If the flesh came into being because of spirit, it is a wonder. But if spirit came into being because of the body, it is a wonder of wonders. Indeed, I am amazed at how this great wealth has made its home in this poverty. Where there are three gods, they are gods. Where there are two or one, I am with him. Raise the stone, and there you will find me. Cleave the wood, and there I am. No prophet is accepted in his own village. No physician heals those who know him. A city being built on a high mountain and fortified cannot fall, nor can it be hidden. You hear with one of your ears, but the other one you have closed. Preach from your housetops that which you will hear in your one ear, as well as in the other ear. For no one lights a lamp and puts it under a bushel, nor does he put it in a hidden place. But rather, he sets it on a lampstand, so that everyone who enters and leaves will see its light. If a blind man leads a blind man, they will both fall into a pit. It is not possible for anyone to enter the house of a strong man and take it by force unless he binds his hands. Then he will be able to ransack his house. Do not worry from dawn to dusk and from dusk to dawn about what food you will eat, or what clothing you will wear. You are much better than the lilies, which neither card nor spin. And for your part, what will you wear when you have no clothing? Who would add to your stature? It is he who will give you your clothing. His disciples said, when will you become revealed to us, and when shall we see you? Jesus said, When you disrobe without being ashamed, and take up your garments and place them under your feet like little children and tread on them, then you will see the Son of the Living One, and you will not be afraid. Many times have you desired to hear these words which I am saying to you, and you have no one else to hear them from. 
There will be days when you will look for me and will not find me. The Pharisees and the scribes have taken the keys of knowledge and hidden them. They themselves have not entered, nor have they allowed to enter those who wish to. You, however, be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. A grapevine has been planted outside of the Father, but being unsound, it will be pulled up by its roots and destroyed. Whoever has something in his hand will receive more, and whoever has nothing will be deprived of even the little he has. Become passers-by. His disciples said to him, Who are you that you should say these things to us? Jesus said to them, You do not realize who I am from what I say to you, but you have become like the Jews, for they either love the tree and hate its fruit, or love the fruit and hate the tree. Whoever blasphemes against the Father will be forgiven, and whoever blasphemes against the Son will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either on earth or in heaven. Grapes are not harvested from thorns, nor are figs gathered from thistles, for they do not produce fruit. A good man brings forth good things from his storehouse. An evil man brings forth evil things from his evil storehouse, which is in his heart, and says evil things. For out of the abundance of the heart he brings forth evil things. Among those born of women, from Adam until John the Baptist, there is no one so superior to John the Baptist that his eyes should not be lowered before him. Yet I have said, whichever one of you comes to be a child will be acquainted with the kingdom and will become superior to John. It is impossible for a man to mount two horses or to stretch two bows, and it is impossible for a servant to serve two masters, otherwise he will honor the one and treat the other contemptuously. No man drinks old wine and immediately desires to drink new wine. And new wine is not put into old wineskins, lest they burst. Nor is old wine put into a new wineskin, lest it spoil it. An old patch is not sewn onto a new garment, because a tear would result. If two make peace with each other in this one house, they will say to the mountain, Move away, and it will move away. Blessed are the solitary and elect, for you will find the kingdom, for you are from it, and to it you will return. If they say to you, Where did you come from? Say to them, We came from the light the place where the light came into being on its own accord and established itself and became manifest through their image. If they say to you, Is it you? Say, We are its children. We are the elect of the living Father. If they ask you, What is the sign of your Father in you? Say to them, it is movement and repose. His disciples said to him, When will the repose of the dead come about, 
And when will the new world come? He said to them, What you look forward to has already come, but you do not recognize it. His disciples said to him, Twenty-four prophets spoke in Israel, and all of them spoke in you. He said to them, You have omitted the one living in your presence, and have spoken only of the dead. His disciples said to him, Is circumcision beneficial or not? He said to them, If it were beneficial, their father would beget them already circumcised from their mother. Rather, the true circumcision in spirit has become completely profitable. Blessed are the poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Whoever does not hate his father and his mother cannot become a disciple to me. And whoever does not hate his brothers and sisters and take up his cross in my way will not be worthy of me. Whoever has come to understand the world has found only a corpse. And whoever has found a corpse is superior to the world. The kingdom of the Father is like a man who had good seed. His enemy came by night and sowed weeds among the good seed. The man did not allow them to pull up the weeds. He said to them, I am afraid that you will go intending to pull up the weeds and pull up the wheat along with them. For on the day of the harvest the weeds will be plainly visible and they will be pulled up and burned. Blessed is the man who has suffered and found life. Take heed of the living one while you are alive, lest you die and seek to see him and be unable to do so. They saw a Samaritan carrying a lamb on his way to Judea. He said to his disciples, Why does that man carry the lamb around? They said to him, So that he may kill it and eat it. He said to them, While it is alive, he will not eat it, but only when he has killed it and it has become a corpse. They said to him, he cannot do so otherwise. He said to them, You too look for a place for yourself within the repose, lest you become a corpse and be eaten. Jesus said, Two will rest on a bed. The one will die and the other will live. Salome said to him, Who are you, man? that you, as though from the one, have come up on my couch and eaten from my table. And Jesus said to her, I am he who exists from the undivided. I was given some of the things of my father. Salome said, I am your disciple. Jesus said to her, Therefore I say, if he is undivided, he will be filled with light. But if he is divided, he will be filled with darkness. It is to those who are worthy of my mysteries that I tell my mysteries. Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. There was a rich man who had much money. He said, I shall put my money to use so that I may sow, reap, plant, and fill my storehouse with produce with the result that I shall lack nothing. Such were his intentions, but that same night he died. Let him who has ears hear.
A man had received visitors, and when he had prepared the dinner, he sent his servant to invite guests. He went to the first one and said to him, My master invites you. He said, I have claims against some merchants. They are coming to me this evening. I must go and give them my orders. I asked to be excused from the dinner. He went to another and said, My master has invited you. He said to him, I have just bought a house, and I am required for the day. I shall not have any spare time. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. He said to him, my friend is going to get married, and I am to prepare the banquet. I shall not be able to come. I ask to be excused from the dinner. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. He said to him, I have just bought a farm, and I am on my way to collect the rent. I shall not be able to come. I asked to be excused. The servant returned and said to his master, Those whom you invited to the dinner have asked to be excused. The master said to his servant, Go outside to the streets and bring back those whom you happen to meet, so that they may dine. Businessmen and merchants will not enter the places of my father. There was a good man who owned a vineyard. He leased it to tenant farmers so that they might work it and he might collect the produce from them. He sent his servants so that the tenants might give him the produce of the vineyard. They seized his servant and beat him all but killing him. The servant went back and told his master. The master said, Perhaps they did not recognize him. He sent another servant. The tenants beat this one as well. Then the owner sent his son and said, Perhaps they will show respect to my son. Because the tenants knew that it was he who was heir to the vineyard, they seized him and killed him. Let him who has ears hear. Show me the stone which the builders have rejected. That one is the cornerstone. Whoever believes that the all itself is deficient is himself completely deficient. Blessed are you when you are hated and persecuted. Wherever you have been persecuted, they will find no place. Blessed are they who have been persecuted within themselves. It is they who have truly come to know the Father. Blessed are the hungry, for the belly of him who desires will be filled. If you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. I shall destroy this house, and no one will be able to rebuild it. A man said to him, Tell my brothers to divide my father's possessions with me. He said to him, O oh man, who has made me a divider? He turned to his disciples and said to them, I am not a divider, am I? The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Beseech the Lord, therefore, to send out laborers to the harvest. O oh Lord, there are many around the drinking trough, but there is nothing in the cistern. Many are standing at the door. 
but it is the solitary who will enter the bridal chamber. The kingdom of the Father is like a merchant who had a consignment of merchandise and who discovered a pearl. That merchant was shrewd. He sold the merchandise and bought the pearl alone for himself. You too seek his unfailing and enduring treasure, where no moth comes near to devour and no worm destroys. It is I who am the light which is above them all. It is I who am the all. From me did the all come forth, and unto me did the all extend. Split a piece of wood, and I am there. Lift up the stone, and you will find me there. Why have you come out into the desert? To see a reed shaken by the wind? And to see a man clothed in fine garments like your kings and your great men? Upon them are the fine garments, and they are unable to discern the truth. A woman from the crowd said to him, Blessed are the womb which bore you, and the breasts which nurtured you. He said to her, Blessed are those who have heard the word of the Father, and have truly kept it. For there will be days when you will say, Blessed are the womb which has not conceived, and the breasts which have not given milk. He who has recognized the world has found the body, but he who has found the body is superior to the world. Let him who has grown rich be king, and let him who possesses power renounce it. He who is near me is near the fire, and he who is far from me as far from the kingdom. The images are manifest to man, but the light in them remains concealed in the image of the light of the Father. He will become manifest, but his image will remain concealed by his light. When you see your likeness, you rejoice, but when you see your images, which came into being before you, and which neither die nor become manifest, how much you will have to bear. Adam came into being from a great power and a great wealth, but he did not become worthy of you. For had he been worthy, he would not have experienced death. The foxes have their holes, and the birds have their nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head and rest. Wretched is the body that is dependent upon a body, and wretched is the soul that is dependent on these two. The angels and the prophets will come to you and give you those things you already have, and you too give them those things which you have, and say to yourselves, When will they come and take what is theirs? Why do you wash the outside of the cup? Do you not realize that he who made the inside is the same one who made the outside? Come unto me, for my yoke is easy, and my lordship is mild, and you will find repose for yourselves. They said to him, Tell us who you are, so that we may believe in you. He said to them, You read the face of the sky and of the earth, but... You have not recognized the one who is before you, and you do not know how to read this moment. 
Seek, and you will find. Yet what you asked me about in former times, and which I did not tell you then, now I do desire to tell, but you do not inquire after it. Do not give what is holy to dogs, lest they throw them on the dung heap. Do not throw the pearls to swine, lest they grind it to bits. He who seeks will find, and he who knocks will be let in. If you have money, do not lend it at interest, but give it to one from whom you will not get it back. The kingdom of the Father is like a certain woman. She took a little leaven, concealed it in some dough, and made it into large loaves. Let him who has ears hear. The kingdom of the Father is like a certain woman who was carrying a jar full of meal. She was walking on a road, still some distance from home. The handle of the jar broke, and the meal emptied out behind her on the road. She did not realize it. She had noticed no accident. When she reached her house, she set the jar down and found it empty. The kingdom of the Father is like a certain man who wanted to kill a powerful man. In his own house he drew his sword and stuck it into the wall in order to find out whether his hand could carry through. Then he slew the powerful man. The disciples said to him, Your brothers and your mother are standing outside. He said to them, those here who do the will of my father are my brothers and my mother. It is they who will enter the kingdom of my father. They showed Jesus a gold coin and said to him, Caesar's men demand taxes from us. He said to them, Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give God what belongs to God, and give me what is mine. Whoever does not hate his father and his mother as I do cannot become a disciple to me. And whoever does not love his father and his mother as I do cannot become a disciple to me. For my mother gave me death but my true mother gave me life. Woe to the Pharisees, for they are like a dog sleeping in the manger of oxen, for neither does he eat, nor does he let the oxen eat. Fortunate is the man who knows where the brigands will enter, so that he may get up, muster his domain, and arm himself before they invade. They said to Jesus, Come, let us pray today, and let us fast. Jesus said, What is the sin that I have committed, or wherein have I been defeated? But when the bridegroom leaves the bridal chamber, then let them fast and pray. He who knows the father and the mother will be called the son of a harlot. When you make the two one, you will become the sons of man. And when you say, mountain, move away, it will move away. The kingdom is like a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. One of them, the largest, went astray. He left the ninety-nine sheep and looked for that one until he found it. When he had gone to such trouble, he said to the sheep, I care for you more than the ninety-nine. 
He who will drink from my mouth will become like me. I myself shall become he, and the things that are hidden will become revealed to him. The kingdom is like a man who had a hidden treasure in his field without knowing it. And after he died, he left it to his son. The son did not know about the treasure. He inherited the field and sold it. And the one who bought it went plowing and found the treasure. He began to lend money at interest to whomever he wished. Whoever finds the world and becomes rich, let him renounce the world. The heavens and the earth will be rolled up in your presence, and one who lives from the living one will not see death. Does not Jesus say, whoever finds himself is superior to the world? Woe to the flesh that depends on the soul. Woe to the soul that depends on the flesh. His disciples said to him, When will the kingdom come? Jesus said, It will not come by waiting for it. It will not be a matter of saying, Here it is, or there it is. Rather, the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth, and men do not see it. Simon Peter said to him, Let Mary leave us, for women are not worthy of life. Jesus said, I myself shall lead her in order to make her male so that she too may become a living spirit resembling you males. For every woman who will make herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven. So, in conclusion, if you read that or have listened to that, with your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears, you will see and find that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. And the abilities that we have for manifestation of things that we pray for, seek after, they do manifest for us. We have new eyes new ears and a new understanding and with the books that have been taken out when we replace them then the Bible is whole again and it bridges the gap and could take away so much confusion and there wouldn't be over 20,000 different denominations there would not be all of this confusion. Religion was not something that was supposed to be constructed to begin with. It's all about finding out who and what we are and our God-given abilities that are within us. Through our consciousness, which links into the oneness, I hope you all enjoyed that and those who were able to follow along and understand that was meant to be for those who got a little confused at times and didn't quite understand or maybe had a little bit of trouble with the interpretation in time it will come I find it interesting when he's doing the parable about the feast and how basically different religious factions were too busy to attend our Creator, Father, His banquet. And therefore, He sends His servants out to pick all the different walks of life who all attended with such gratitude. 
And when we look around at the people who are raising up into this understanding, there seems to be no rhyme or reason to it. But maybe there is, after all. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Michelle's Opinions. And um, I will look into some of the other uh, hidden mysteries that have been in plain sight. Um, if we can dig them out and, and get our hands on them. So it seems like now seems to be the time of the great unveiling from the Mandela effect to the supernatural things going on with amazing, wonderful people. Everybody is divine. We all have that spark within us. It's just a matter of time before we all wake up to knowing who and what we are and how we can change this place overnight. Remember, always share what you know so we can all listen and grow have yourself a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of new postings premieres, and live shows. If you'd like to sponsor the channel, the links are below. I have both Patreon and PayPal. And thank you, channel supporters. Without your support to keep things going, I don't know where I would be. It's people like you and your generosity that helps the work improve and for us to be able to grow. Thank you.